Hi, so this is part two. Uh, we're making the base and I've gone ahead and cut out what we drew the last video. And now I want to cut my sides. My sides are actually two and a quarter, I think. Let me, let me check. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's just a little bit, it's a little bit less than two and an eighth. I'm really off, that's okay. So I'm gonna cut this and do that because yours may be just a little bit different. You want to make sure that it fits across there. But then I want these to be two inches long, tall, actually. So I'm gonna cut one. I need six of them, remember. And two and three. Did I make that? Yeah. Let me turn it so I know that those are the same. Three. Four. I have glue in my hands. <laughs> I'm not good with nails. I bake bread. I bake all kinds of stuff. And so I don't, once in a while, I don't use my uh, bread machine to make bread, but I actually make bread. So I get my hands and I make pie crust and make all kinds of things. So I don't like to um, have long nails or nail polish. So yesterday, I thought we did one yesterday. So I'm actually going to have to cut another one. I don't have quite enough. Okay. Oh, that was not cool. That's all right. And then we want it to be two inches. Okay, so then I can put this away. So we have our sides. And basically, just the way we made this one yesterday, we're gonna do the same thing with our base. I'm gonna glue it down first. Let me put this in my shirt before I lose it. I have lost that so many times and my poor husband has had, no, oh, Stephen, help me find my needle. And he does, he's a very sweet man. His mother did a good job with him. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this down anywhere because we don't have a design that we want to keep like we did this. And we're gonna do the same thing with each of these. I have to make sure. Yeah goes like that and make sure that you're putting the correct side down because one is two and one is larger so I want to go ahead and do that and I want to burnish these down oops and I'm measuring before, and then as I glue, I remember which side. And if you can't do that, then just be careful, you know, kind of eyeball it. And if it's not right, then turn it the other way. These little boxes are so fun. I have several of them that I've made, some of them for gifts, some of them, I, I usually keep one thing that I've made so that I kind of have a pattern if I forget how to do it. It kind of helps me to remember how I did it. And so I have a lot of junk around my house. <laughs> oh, that is just really small, okay. It's all right because I must have cut cocky wampus. So I'm just going to try and put the longer side down, but I'm going to try and center it. And you'll have this happen. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull this closer so you can see. So you can see I cut this one a little bit off. And that'll happen. I'm not worried about it. I don't worry about much. Yeah, this one's good. Woo! If it's terribly off, if it were, you know, way in here, 
And then I would go ahead and I would cut another one, try and make it fit. But it's not a big deal. Now this we might have a little bit of a problem with. But I'm not worried about that either. <laughs> this way. Ah, <gasps> jiggers! That was bad. But I think I remember. Yep. Okay. Let me put my pin back in my glue so it doesn't dry out. This glue dries out very, very quickly. So make sure it's wonderful glue. It's absolutely wonderful glue, but it does dry out fast. Okay, so again, I'm going to do my half inch at the top. And you can see this is just a little bit short, but we should be okay. We should, we should be just absolutely fine. Not a problem. Life is too short to worry about the little things. Okay, so then the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and join these. I do one thing, I do it well, and then I move on. And I know some of you are thinking, well, why don't you do this with that? Go ahead and do it. I'm, that's fine. I'm really tickled if you guys learn to be independent. I'm just trying to show you the basics so that you can start creating and doing your own thing. Once you, once you basically learn all of the kind of basic things, you're good to go. You're really good to go. So then we're going to attach this. And, or mark this. And I can't see this one, so I'm going to try and eyeball the center. Oops, got it a little crooked. I'm going a little faster with this one than we did with the, the base or the top because a lot of these skills we've already learned by making boxes, making books, and I'm sure you're getting very competent in some of these things. Okay. I'm going to cut the outside sectangle. My um, craft studio is on the south side of our house, and so it gets very warm in here when I do things. And I am thinking I might need a fan in here. <laughs> I might keep that. Okay, then we're going to cut down here. Oh, this is fun. And then again, we're going to cut this. Could have used my little scissors, but this is a little bigger than the lid that we made. These are just a little bit bigger, so I think I'm okay with these bigger scissors. And then we're going to go around and do the other side, or you could have done both sides at one time. I get that. Like I said, I do one thing, I do it well, I move on. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and angle these just a little bit as we cut them. Shaky time today. 
And that's why I tell you when I go to cut things like this, I don't cut this way because invariably I'll have a shake and I'll cut right into my good part. So I just take my end of my scissor where I want the cut to end and that's as far as I go. That way if I have a shaky session, I don't cause problems for my project and don't have to start over. And some of you don't have that, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull all of these up. You can burnish them while you're doing it if you want to. It's not critical. Okay, and then I'm going to push those all back. And remember, we do one side in the same side. And then we do one side out. And you can score these on your score if you're not comfortable doing this by hand. It's not a big deal. So then the last thing we want to do is we want to pull these up. And I'm not going to burnish today. Um, actually, yes, I am, because these can be just a little naughty. Okay. See, I change. I'm a girl. I change my mind all the time. Okay. I think we've gone the whole way around. Yep. And then the next thing we just have to glue and yeah so i'm going to take two i'm going to take the outside one and i'm going to take the inside one now this is our base remember and then i'm going to do my best to make those edges yeah line up I'm going to hold them for just a couple seconds and then I will burnish them. And then we'll do the next one. Yeah, I am having some shakies today. So let me move that way. So we're going to go ahead and hold that for just a couple seconds. Burnish it and move on. Oh, this is so stinking cute, this paper. This again is Victoria Designs on Etsy. It's all one word typed together. Um, she has such beautiful paper, some really pretty ideas of how to use her paper. I really suggest that you go and check out her Etsy shop and have a good time there. Um, I have other papers that I like, but I think she's my favorite. I, I really have, a, I have bought a lot of her paper. And she always has a sale. I mean, she is just, a, she is such a sweetheart. She has a very nice spirit. She's very generous with, um, when she brings out something new, she will give you samples so that you can see if you like it before you buy the entire kit, which that, that has that has been a nice thing. When I go to look at some of her new papers, sometimes, you know, computers just look different. Um, it's computer screen colors look different than when you print them at home. So once you get a sample and you can print it, it's like, oh, yeah, that is nice. Okay, we're going to push these tops in one at a time and 
and so then all you're going to have to do is um, smudge with your inks all of your edges and if you want you can paint the inside or you can actually um, cover this with pretty paper if you want the inside you just have to kind of measure you can measure the outside and then cut it a little smaller to fit in there and it's up to you what you want to do with yours but my test now is to see make sure that that fits on top look at that that is so cute oh nice and then I will fill it with candy okay I want to tell you thank you for stopping um, if you could I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and come back next time we're going to do some more fun Easter things or <laughs> Easter yeah we're going to do some more fun Halloween things and have a good October. Bye.